so today's video we're talking about multiplication and specifically vocabulary within multiplication and the properties of mul multiplication, multiplication properties. So starting out, the associative property, okay? Associative property. You can multiply a group of numbers no matter how they are grouped and, and get the same answer. So if you have three times four times two, great. Three times four times two. Or if you wanted to go three times four times two, it doesn't matter. The associative property applies to addition and multiplication, and you can reorder or regroup the numbers however best fits you. Number two, the commutative property. Two numbers can be multiplied in either order. It's the exact same thing, pretty much, okay? Except you, you don't have parentheses. Just two numbers, four times two, great. Two times four, 90 times 35, and then 35 times 90. It's the exact same thing. The associative property means you can like, you're an associate of someone, you, you meet with them, you, you group with them. Doesn't matter what numbers you group together, it's the same. And the commutative property, you can flip the numbers and still multiply to get the same answer. Two other properties, the identity property and the zero property. Any number, you can multiply any number by one and the number keeps its same identity. Eight times one, it's eight. Ten times one, ten. Four times one, four. 389 times one, it's 389. Doesn't matter the number that you multiply by, one, you're gonna get that same number. And then the zero property, it's kind of, it's kind of the exact opposite. You're not gonna get the same number, you're gonna get zero. Eight times zero is zero, right? So the product of any number and zero equals zero. Four times zero, zero. 389 times zero, zero. Okay, we have four more vocabulary terms to deal with. The product. Anytime you're talking about multiplication, um, the product is a term that could be used. Seven times three is 21. The product is the answer when two or more numbers are multiplied. So when you multiply numbers together, that's the product. 9 times 4, 36, and then 2 times 8, 16. The product is the answer, the answer of a multiplication problem. Okay, factors. What are factors? So product is the answer. Factors are numbers that are multiplied together to give a product. Okay, so 21... 7 times 3 is a, they're both factors of 21, okay? 9 times 4 is 36. So 9 and 4 are both factors of 36. So we could, let's look at 36. So we can, we can, there's many factors. 12, right? 12 times 3 is 36. So 12 and 3, those are factors. 9 times 4 uh, is 36. So 9 and 4 again, factors. What about 2 times 18? Same thing. Uh, 2 times 18. Those are both factors. Factors are, are any numbers that you multiply together that can achieve a certain product. Okay. 2 times 8 is 16. Other factors of 16. 4 times 4. 4 is a factor of 16. Okay, and then now we have multiples. What are multiples? Okay, multiples, the product of a whole number and any other number. Okay, so if you multiply any number times another number, that's going to be multiples. And I'm going to illustrate that. Three times four. So multiples of three. Okay, let's look. We can start at zero. One two, three, four. Three times four is 12. Three is one, six, two, nine, three, 12 is four. And we can keep going. Those are all multiples of three. And we can go backwards too. One time backwards from zero, negative three. And if we kept going 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30, multiples go on forever. And now look at this. 
five and two. We start at zero. One, two, zero to five to 10. We can continue multiples, 15, 20, 25, 30, right? And so it doesn't matter what the line is. Maybe we could say 10, 20, 30. What are those? Those are multiples of, those are multiples of 10, 10, 20, 30. Or if we wanted to say multiples of 15, 15, 30, 45, 60. On a number line, you can go multiples in any in either direction as long as as far as you wanted to go. Okay, this is the most difficult term that we have um, today. Partial product. What is a partial product? Well, we know that a product is the answer of the multiplication problem. So a partial product is kind of part of that answer. Products found by breaking factors into ones, tens, hundreds, etc., and then multiplying them together. So we can look at the term, at the problem, 52 times 35. Well, let's, let's break this down to expanded form. 50 plus 2, right? So 50 plus 2 times 30 plus 5. And then we can, this is a, a multiplication grid. Well, what is 30 times 50? Well, that's 1,500. Okay, 30 times 2, 60. What's 5 times 50? 250. And then 5 times 2 is 10. So a partial product is any of these squares. This is a partial product. This is a partial product. Partial product. Okay? And what you can do with these partial products is add them together. This is now an addition problem. 1,500 plus 250 plus 60 plus 10. What's my answer? 1820 is my final answer to the original math problem. Guys, this is just a quick vocabulary video about multiplication. Uh, please let me know if there's anything else I can do for you. Have a great day.